Deck 908, and today we're looking at a little bit of interesting gameplay today. So, in the original beta, everyone, there was like rumors, you know what I mean? Like, no one was 100% sure you'd ask this person, they'd say this person's seen it, but they'd say this person's seen it, you know, pretty much hearsay, you know? And that rumor was the, well, one of the interesting monsters, I I can't really pronounce the name correctly, you're gonna kill me, out, you're gonna kill me for this for sure, but like pukey pukey or something like that, so like bleh, regurgitation, regurgitation, regardless, it's chameleon type looking monster, if you will, still looks like a bird weaver because it still, you know, stalks around looking all weird like a, like a bird weaver, or maybe even it's closer to that like a Pekezu or something, it's real. I'm not too sure about the anatomy, regardless. He's um he's a reclusive kind of monster in the original beta, but in the second beta, they made it a bit more prominent for him to actually come out for you guys to actually fight him. Uh, usually, he replaces the Rathalo, so if you want to farm him or you want to like uh, try to fight him a bit more often, I would recommend starting with, with the original Joggers qu uh, quest, going to Area 17, and poking your neck out and see if the Rathalos is there. If the Rathalos is not there, that means Pukey Pukey's around somewhere, and you'll be able to fight him. So, my initial impression when fighting this guy was, um, really interesting monster. He's one of the, like, every now and then, Monster Hunter releases the monster that you just look at and it's like, wow, now that's a really interesting monster. You know, you just, that's just really how you, you, you think about it, and what sets him apart is the fact that, well, yeah, he kind of acts in, in line to, like, a cut or something like that, or maybe even a Gypseros, but, uh, his design, I mean, it's, it's crazy, the only, I guess, he's not necessarily a chameleon, he's actually a gecko, but the only, like, monster that kind of resembles that type of animal, that real-life animal, was the chameleos, and sure, he can go invisible and things like that, but, Pukey Pukey really, he's really like a chameleon, you know what I mean? Whereas the other one was like a wood gecko. But uh, I like the way he looks. I like this. Uh, I like his the way he fights. He uses his tongue and he he spits a uh, a flurry of poison out at you and, and everything. So he has a lot going for him. He's a really interesting monster, but he's definitely one of the little sneakier beasties to actually come and fight in terms of the beta. I recommend that you guys go and fight him single player. He doesn't necessarily have a lot of health. As you can see, this video is only four minutes long. I kind of found him almost instantly, and I bash his head in, in, in due fashion. But not a hard monster to fight, but a really interesting monster to fight nonetheless. I want to say once the game itself actually fully comes out, he'll probably want a more earlier monster that you would fight. I want to say right, right, right around with Jogras and Kulu and, you know, all those little, the, the tinier weapons, you know, the little ones where you kind of just get your rocks off, and then maybe later on, you'll probably have a, an urgent that's like a Barret or like a Raytheon or something like that, you know how, the, the, the usual monster on a progression, but, um, for what it is, I mean, he's a really interesting looking monster, now, one thing I want to note, though, is I have yet to actually see this, I'm sure you guys probably may have, if you have, please let me know, I want to know what his gear would look like, because usually monsters who are very colorful and bright like this, uh, I'm looking, I'm remembering rather, uh, Mafestio, the the owl monster from Gen. I have to think. I, I didn't wasn't sure if he was in Double Cross or not, but um, yeah, the the owl monster from uh, the last the last games we were playing. His armor was super colorful, super vibrant, really unique looking. And when it, when it really comes down to it, I mean, Monster Hunter is a game where you do indeed fight the monsters and everything. But if you if you wear the armor and you look like Foot. Um, it's not that cool. Like, it's not a, a full-on memorable experience for you because, I mean, as it stands, he himself as the monster is a really cool-looking monster. I like the way he fights. I like the way he looks. But uh, his armor has to play the part, too. So I wonder what his armor looks like. So if you guys actually know what his armor and even his weapons look like, I'd like to see that. Now, um, before I go, a uh, short video, of course, but before I go, there will be another video I'll upload for you guys. It'll be me fighting the Kulu and kind of give you guys my impressions on him as well. Uh, but as it stands, cool monster right here, this uh, this pukey pukey guy right here. Not a whole lot of health. Uh, very interesting fights. If you want to fight him again, you have to kind of farm him. Make sure the Rathalos is actually actually does not spawn. And I recommend you do the Joggers quest because in case you want to complete the quest, Joggers is like a two-hit monster and you win. And uh, just make sure Rathalos isn't at a spawn point when you go to Area 17 and Pukey Pukey's out there. But with that being said, everyone, it's been your boy Dak908, aka the Dig Dug himself. Hopefully you guys found the video enjoyable. If not, uh, yo, let me know. You know, I I'll take those criticisms to heart, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.